All right, NFL week 16. We've made it to week 16. I know, crazy, right? 49ers are going to pick up the Titans in about two hours or so. Um, a little bit less than two hours by the time you're watching this, probably. Um, and the 49ers, you know, Nick Bosa, Jimmy G, Debo Samuel and company going up against Ryan Tannehill and a struggling Dolphins, or rather not a struggling Dolphins. We'll talk about the Dolphins later. The Titans, yeah. Titans, you know, 9-5, and five, you know, not in a good position right now. You know, they, they are trending down with the 49ers, are trending upward. In fact, the 49ers still have a shot at winning the NFC West. You know, that's just how hot they've been over the past two weeks. You know, that's something that's going to be really intriguing to see how this goes. You know, um, Browns Packers also going to be intriguing as we move to Saturday, Christmas Day, alongside the NBA, of course, which is crazy to me. You know, watching NFL games and NBA games at the same time. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, what the hell? Um, you know, the Browns and the Packers are two teams trending in different directions. Packers, of course, led by Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. And just a talented Packers team all around. Browns probably getting Baker Mayfield back. COVID has really affected this team a lot, you know. And the Browns are also trending in a weird direction. As to, I just don't know what this team is. You know, it's again, it's a log jam in the AFC right now, more so than the NFC. You know, you have a lot of teams that either 500 or 8 and 6 or 9 and 5, you know, right now in the AFC. And the Browns are one of those teams that are stuck at the position that they are at, you know, at the moment. Colts Cardinals rounds out on Saturday night, and we know that Jonathan Taylor might be looking to run all over the Cardinals because we know, we know for damn sure that Carson Wentz can't do anything. And the Cardinals, you know, no DeAndre Hopkins, but still have a talented wide receiver core. I mean, they still got a talented group of wide receivers and stuff like that. Um, and Kyler Murray and company got to get it together, man. They got to get it together because they've lost three of their last five, which is surprising to me. Yeah, it's hard to go undefeated in the NFL, but it's just very surprising that the cards, you know, have just completely lost their edge. They're losing ground in the NFC West, too. You know, they need to keep winning. The Cardinals need to do, they need to do that. And if they can't do that, you know, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. And the Colts are no easy task. Again, Colts have, have one of the best defenses in the NFL, one of the best defenses. And they are no, they are no strangers to getting the ball. They, they can take away the ball at will. They're like, what, number one in turnovers this year? Colts? Yeah. And that Colts team. Crazy how a few weeks changes things. Because, I mean, Colts were dead in the water. And all of a sudden, they've gotten up. And they have risen from their status of being dead. Woken back up. And was like, yeah, let's go. Let's do this, man. Um, there are a couple of games as, as we shift to Sunday that do not matter. We can not talk about these at all. Jags, Jets, both these teams are eliminated from playoff contention. Bears, Seahawks, both these teams, you know, essentially eliminated from playoff contention. Yes, I did say the Seahawks are eliminated from playoff contention. There really is no way for the Seahawks to, you know, get into it. You know, with, you know there's just there's just not a way. You know, I mean, I just don't see Seahawks winning three more games with who they have left. You know, I mean, they, they could win two, but I, I don't see three. I definitely do not see three games, you know. you know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But, I mean, I just don't see it. I just don't. Because, I mean, the NFC is not, not at the best place right now, you know. You know, there's, there's a lot of teams that are under 500 trying to get a spot. So, we won't talk about this at all. You know, so those two games. But the other... The other 13, you know, that includes the, uh, no wait, the other 11, my bad, I, I'm, I'm stupid, y'all. <laughs> the other 11 games on Sunday and Monday night, oh boy, these are intriguing as hell. Lions, Falcons, Falcons, you know, kind of, you know, kind of on the cusp of being eliminated themselves. We know the Lions are not a team to be taken lightly. They have played tough the entire season. In fact, the Lions are the the NFL version of Nebraska. I mean, just a tough team. We know they can get victories. They punched the cards in the mouth last week, and they could punch the Falcons all the way out of the playoff picture probably, you know, if 
the Lions win this week, you know. Because, I mean, no Jared Goff, though. So, we'll see who they start at QB. Rams Vikings is going to be really intriguing. I, I don't know how I'm going to fit this in, you know, into my Sunday slate. Because, I mean, you know, I, I, we'll, we'll talk about these next two here in a moment, you know, after, you know, um, after some others here. But the Rams Vikings is really intriguing for a lot of reasons. Rams. You know, Cooper Cup has been on fire. We know the Vikings defense is not on fire. They're ice cold. You know, just can't do anything. Because, I mean, look, look at the Vikings' performances the past few weeks. I mean, they gave up a touchdown late to the Bears when they shouldn't have. They almost let the Steelers come back on them. I mean, this is a Vikings team that, you know, stagnates on offense. And when it comes to, you know, just to get together because I mean again this this Vikings offense is talented you know Justin Jefferson Adam Thielen I mean just a talented wide receiver core it's just a shame that you know Mike Zimmer is you know limiting his team I think in my opinion a lot of people's opinions as well Rams on the other hand Rams trying to get way back into because I mean they were lost in the shuffle a couple weeks ago themselves where they had lost three straight now they're right back into the NFC West picture they're right back into it. Could overtake the cards probably by the end of the night, you know, potentially on Sunday night, you know. Could, I mean, if the cards lose against the Colts, you know, you could see a Rams team that, you know, has signed all this talent, has all this talent, you know, with Matthew Stafford leading the way, of course, you know, get back in front in the NFC West. It's that, it's that simple. Giants, Eagles. Now the Giants are eliminated for playoff contention. I don't know how the Eagles are seven and seven at they're at the position that they're at. Again, you know the only reason they won last week is because Washington was just too injured with COVID. You know, or I shouldn't say injured; they were too sick with COVID. I don't know why I keep saying injured. Um, you know, Washington just had too many COVID. You know, guys. You know, out. So there was just no way that the um, football team was going to be able to win. And, I mean, the football team fought valiantly. But, I mean, you know, it just wasn't enough. And the Eagles are somehow still in this thing. I don't know why. You know, the Giants can, you know, knock them out of, you know, winning the division, you know. Because, I mean, you know, we'll talk about the team that can win the NFC East later here. But, you know, Eagles, Eagles got to get a victory that makes sense here. You know, the Giants, no, no Daniel Jones for the rest of the year. I don't know who they're going to start. It could be Jake Fromm. could be Mike Glennon. I don't know, man. The Giants are just a dumpster fire. Get them in the company. Get them guys out of there. Bills Patriots. Um, the Patriots are closer to clinching the AFC East, I believe. Bills, you know, need a victory. They need it bad. You know, they need it real, real bad. And this one is not going to be easy, you know. Not going to be easy for the Patriots because, you know, we know that they could get punched in the mouth. We know that. You know, it's just a matter of can the Bills do something because the last time we saw these two teams play a couple weeks ago, um, the Patriots ran all over the Bills and the Bills just never got anything going at all. Yeah, I know the elements played a factor, but they never got anything going. You know, the Bills did. So Josh Allen and the company got to get a victory here against the Patriots. Ravens Bengals. This one's huge. This one's even huger. Just as huge, in my opinion. Um, Bengals are now what? First in the AFC North? They're first in the AFC North. Ravens have tumbled out of, you know, being the, um, being, um, what, the number three or four seed and all the way, you know, out of even being positioned. Like, they're behind the seventh seed right now. Whoever that seventh seed is, I forgot who it was. That's again, that's just how deep the AFC's been this year. Um, so the Ravens, you know, probably getting Lamar Jackson back, gonna be intriguing to see. You know, really huge game. Car Chargers, Texans. I don't know why I almost said Cardinals. Chargers, Texans. Texans are, are eliminated from playoff contention, um, but they can, you know, they can, you know, they can put up a fight. We know that. You know, they beat up on the Jags last week. I'm not discrediting the Texans at all because, I mean, they've had a rough season. They've had a rough, rough season. And they can take out their frustrations on the Chargers who, you know, as long as they don't do anything stupid like use analytics to go for it on fourth down, I think Justin Herbert and company should be fine in this game, you know. So, this one's, again, this one's not going to be not going to be bad, 
you know, for the charges. But, I mean, you can't overlook the Texans. You can't overlook anybody in the NFL. That's again, any given Sunday around in these parts. Uh, Bucks, Panthers, Bucks have no receivers. No, no Godwin, no Evans, no Leonard Fournette. No, all you got is Gronk, Brady. All you got is Gronk. Maybe Antonio Brown too, but I'm not sure. You know, it, you know what what his status is because I mean he's supposed to be coming back this week, but I mean again I'm not entirely sure. You know, so the Bucks, you know, just down with really no receivers and stuff like that. They even signed Le'Veon Bell, you know, too. The Bucks did. And the Panthers. You know, Panthers have just been on a free fall to a complete meltdown. They they completely melted down into something that's just not it's just not a cohesive team anymore. Like Cam Newton experiment is not working out. It's not working at all. It's got something's got to get it together. Broncos Raiders again. I don't know how these two teams are at the position they're at. They're both seven and seven. Um, Teddy Bridgewater might be back this week. Derek Carr, you know, playing serviceable, not great. And, I mean, again, both these teams have some talent. It's just, you know, they haven't utilized it properly to the point, you know, again, I question why they're even at the position they're at right now. You know, because, I mean, they're both 7-7. Seven seven. They're both 7-7. Seven seven. They're both fighting for a playoff spot. They're probably not getting the AFC West. Neither of them are. They're probably eliminated from that. And speaking of the team that's probably going to win the AFC West, how about the Chiefs? They have completely turned it around, and they... Yeah, the NFL scheduling gods have given the Chiefs a silver platter here. The Steelers, yeah. This, this inconsistent Steelers team that somehow sneaks its way to victories. I don't know how. I do not know how they keep sneaking their way to victories that they really shouldn't be having. We know the Steelers team is not good. We know this is Big Ben's last dance. But the Steelers, you know, they're, they're still lurking for a playoff spot. They're still lurking somehow for a playoff spot. Chiefs could shut them up this week, you know, you know, because I mean Patrick Mahomes and company, they have ran past the brick wall, they ran through it, you know, shook off that early start, which was just a rough start. I mean, they had a rough, rough start to the season, but they shook off the September and October woes and have been on cruise control and have just cruised ever since. Now the Cowboys can clinch the NFC East this week as we, you know, get to Sunday night going to be really intriguing to see what Washington can do. We know that Washington had COVID, you know, related illnesses and stuff like that that impacted their game last week. Hopefully this does, hopefully COVID does not wreak havoc on the NFL again, you know, this week, but it might. It probably might, you know, because I mean, it's affecting the NBA so bad to where it's like, do I even want to watch this, the Christmas Day games at all? Um, and so, you know, Cowboys, all them Cowboys, they got they got a good defense, really good defense. We know Mike Parsons, we know, we know Trayvon Diggs, we know. This is offense that just you know hasn't gotten it together again. A very talented offense, similar to like the Vikings, Raiders, you know, just talented offense that hasn't gotten it together. And I know there's been you know, again, again, COVID has played a factor in some of this, but some of this is you know some injuries. Some of this is on the team itself as well, you know. So I mean, Cowboys got to get it together. Dolphin Saints is intriguing for one reason and one reason only. Ian Book is starting. Trevor Simeon and Taysom Hill are out. So it's going to be Ian Book versus Tua Tagovailoa. I know. Insanity. If you're insanity, that's what this game is going to be on Monday night. Um, so, you know, as we look, you know, again here at the um, scenarios and stuff like that, you know, Chiefs can win the division this week. Um... New England can't, Tennessee Titans cannot, Bengals obviously can't, you know, um, Colts can't do anything, you know, Los Angeles can't do anything, you know, you know uh, and there's just a lot of teams that are 7-7 seven and seven in the hunt right now. We know the Packers have clinched, the Cowboys can clinch, the Bucks might can clinch too, um, and then there's just a lot of, you know, 7-7 seven seven teams and a couple of 6-8 and eight teams and stuff you know, at the helm, you know, as we get into, you know, the later stages of the season. So there's only three weeks left in the season, in all honesty, and I cannot wait, you know, to talk about these final three weeks of the season. You know, we're obviously talking about week 16, so, you know, I'll be coming back hopefully Monday night. Hopefully we come back Monday night. If not, 
you know, whatever day the NFL decides, you know, um, you know, there's games going to be on, like, Tuesday again. You know, if the, if, the, if there's going to be games on Tuesday again, I'm not going to have to come back here on Tuesday to talk about the NFL because I would like to talk something else on Tuesday, you know. Um, so, hopefully I see you all again on Monday night to recap what is probably going to be another crazy week in the NFL. You know, I think only a couple more spots can be clinched this week, so we'll see, you know, who can clinch. You know, at least division titles can be clinched this week again. You know, like the Cowboys can clinch their division. The Bucks can clinch their division. The Chiefs can clinch their division. You know, and just some teams can clinch this week. Not everybody. But we, we could see at minimum four spots, you know, in the playoffs locked up this week. And more teams could be eliminated this week as well. Maybe. We don't know yet. But maybe, you know, we'll see. Um, so every week from this point onward is going to be insane. So I cannot wait again. See you all, hopefully, you know, Monday night. And for the rest of y'all, take care. And, you know, have a great Christmas week. I cannot wait. I'll, I think I'll have something, you know, Christmas Eve or something like that to, you know, sediate you all, you know, to get the week over with. <laughs> Take care, everybody.